Right to the cheddar. I put my foot on their neck. Mama told me never let her. When I was down on my ass, baby. My mama told me keep my head up. I left some shit in the past. My mama told me to be better. I'm sitting here throwing the bitch. You're looking for me, I'm just minding my business. I got a few hundreds and fifties. I got a few bands that I ain't got to finish. It's time to be in 30 with tennis. Forgive me, y'all. I'm sharing, you know, this usually. My mama told me to be better. I don't give a fuck about the gas. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck to the metal. Pushing this shit to the metal. 20k spit on the whip, niggas think it's a panel. Shorty know I got the title. Yeah, cause she in the whip, give me dental. She made a deal with my pickle. She making pussy for dental. Um, I always do this dumb shit. Yeah. Hold on. That shit just do that shit on his own. Man, get some light, nigga. I'm about to turn the bitch on. Hold on. I'm going to put my phone light, man. Hold up, nigga. This shit. I'm over here moving a little fast, nigga. Give me two, give me two seconds of this bitch. Let's turn on Hold baby up. to one. You said what happened? I was telling Alexa to come lights on. I gotta get this shit in order real quick. I got to shit. Huh? Alexa. Yeah, man. I, I, got, I need Alexa to turn my lights on real quick. Oh. I'm too much. Oh, I gotta get this shit going. Oh, I can't have no paraphernalia in the bed, nigga. You feel me? Get this shit popping, nigga. Yes, sir. I know what it is, nigga. Another one. Tuesday night quarterback in this bitch. Nigga, switching these frames up every episode. I ain't wearing the same frames. No episode, man. <laughs> no you you want to beat me so bad. This nigga steal all my friends. <laughs> Who? This, you're Who? the only people with frames on. I ain't still a shit, nigga. This this yeah. this game certified, baby. You know what I'm saying? This game certified by G. No, no disrespect. No disrespect. No, that's Jesus inspired, my nigga. That is Jesus two one six inspired. You two and two. So far, I, I I respect it though. You you you, you serious though? You serious with this? You serious? I, I mean, I feel you, man. I just said, bro, you 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 came in there with the uh with the heart of night joints on last week. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't know what niggas was on. You know what I'm saying? You, that nigga that, came straight heart of night, nigga. Cool. But hold up, let's get to this shit, man. Get this game shit on here. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what it is. All right, man. It's another one. Tuesday night quarterback. Your boy Gam got Hollywood up top. Got my boy DJ to my right. My boy Mike about to slide in this bitch right now as as we see, as Mike we speak. Turn your lights on. We can't see him. Mike got his shit. You flipped. There we go. Fuck, Fuck you, DJ. See, I got the fucking light right <laughs> on. 
No, I had I had you, you, you need to cut the lights off. You need to cut the lights off. Chase got the Jesus inspired man. Chase got the Jesus inspired glasses on today. Okay. Bro, you had tits. Bro, you had tits on your shit, nigga. This nigga had tits. You ain't had tits. That was, that was, that was last there, week. Wasn't, there wasn't the clarity of these, nigga. You had this, the tits on your shit, nigga. That was hard, nigga. That nigga had, that nigga had limo The clarity of these bitches hard, bro. Don't knock the clarity about G. The clarity on point right now. I, 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 that nigga had limo tint on his shit. Come right back. That's what I'm going Man, if I, hey, Mike, if I could see your black ass, I'd crack a joke when you know. And that's how I see this how these intros gonna keep going with this Tuesday night quarterback. This is how these intros go. go. <laughs> All right, nigga. Now we got, um, damn, you got, you got your, you got your game that you picked too, Dan? Yeah. All right. All right. So we got, so with Dame game, DJ game. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got about eight games that we're gonna get into today. We got about eight games. Um normally situations like this normally I go off first off or start going off on the first game. But by the sense of, of what I'm really about to say here, DJ Browns versus Bengals. Go. Why you gonna go there first? Why you gonna go DJ first? Cause man, I got, I got, I got, I got this mic. Let me, let me, let me cook real quick. Let me, let me cook this shit up. <laughs> let me cook this shit up a little bit, nigga. Let me cook it up, bro. Let me. <laughs> All right, yeah, come on, DJ. Mike had to sit up for that one. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. All right, oh Browns versus Browns versus Bengals. DJ, how you? What, what's your thoughts on that game, man? I just wanted to to stand on 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 all that shit y'all was talking. Y'all got the Bengals number. Da 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 da. da. This is Daniel. Nigga, the, the record show, man. You know what I'm talking about. Let him go. Let him go. Hey, Mike. Let him go. Let him go, Mike. Let him go, Mike. Let him go. Let him go, Mike. Let him go. I understand what the, let, let the boy go. All we could go by is game to game and week to week. Like I don't. I football is literally the only sport that you could be like. You never know some fluke shit can happen. NBA, you gonna see the same team twice a year if you all in the same conference three to four times a year. Football, any Sunday, anything can happen. The record could show you beat a team 15 times in a row. That Sunday, it might not be that night. It blah, might not be blah, that blah. night. Blah, blah, blah. What? Did they win? I'm letting hey, you talk. I'm letting you talk. I need saying? you. To, I need you. Can we can we talk about the game and not all this historic? His, right. His, just talk about the game itself, bro. I want to hear about your opinions of the game, bro. Like how? I, I just, like what happened in the game? Bro? I just want to know who, who niggas gonna blame at this point. You can't blame <laughs> Watson because for one, the nigga got injured, and for two, he was fifteen to seventeen before he got injured. Okay. They they looked halfway decent. They had a little bit of uh, a little bit of resurgence with Chubb coming back. Watson looked a little bit better. Um, praying for a speedy recovery. Um, I hope my man get back healthy. I don't care how bad a nigga playing. They never supposed to bull a man that's injured like that. There's there's a potential serious injury. He might not. Honestly, he might not never bounce back. Might not. You right about that? Yeah, he probably might. He probably won't. To be honest, I, I I do got faith that he could bounce back. But at this point, if he bounce back, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be in no Browns in the form. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, that yeah. leg, that leg too. Only person yeah. I ever seen bounce back from some shit like that was Paul George. Dude, what about my boy, um, um, Adrian Peterson? Yeah, look what happened to him. He didn't do shit after that. He had a D- but he did bounce back. He had it. Uh, he, he had, had a decent year after the injury, though. He had a decent year after the injury, though, bro. Like yeah. as far as his career, his career after that, after that, it was kind of just you know what I'm saying. He was at the tail end of his career anyway, to be honest with you. Yeah. But he did bounce back though. He had a good year. The year he came back, and that's he did. That's all social right. media shit killed his career. That shit with him whooping his kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 I go, I'll whoop him. yeah. That's yeah. True. yeah, he ain't lying. He ain't lying about that shit. All right, now, um, Mike, what was your what was your uh what was your takeaway of the game this past Sunday, Browns Steelers? I mean, Browns, Bengals, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Browns, Bengals. We need a lot of help. We need a lot of help. 
Like, period. We need a lot of help. Man, now it's just the bottom line. Motherfuckers ain't even, um, man, and I, op- I knew it, the opening fucking kickoff when dude ran that bitch back. This, yeah, I ain't gonna fake. I see that. I said, oh. Remember you, I'm like, you know, oh, shit. You know what they be saying? You know what them coaches be saying? They got to win in all three phases. Special teams, offense, and defense. Yeah. We ain't yeah. doing it. We need help here. We need help on the uh, on the defensive line and the offensive line. And, and motherfuckers need to I don't know about off. that. What's up, Meech? What's good? I don't really know about that defensive line. Help, but the offensive line, yeah, they got the worst offensive line in the league just yeah. going to through seven weeks. And like he said, they can't protect the quarterback, yeah. and that's what even though, even though Watson got hurt, he still was like way doing his thing. I mean, I feel yeah. like if Watson they get hurt, I feel like Browns could have pulled that game out. It, it, I feel like once Watson went down, you tell energy out the building, niggas booing energy out the building. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm a, like Pip. So how about your feelings? I'm gonna go last in this. How about your feelings on this game? Well, as far as the game go, I feel like the Browns is gonna like wait, start working on their next season right now. Fuck all that other shit. But my take from this game is the fans is on some some whole shit. That's, that that be behavior is whole shit. I don't want to see a nigga get hurt. No, it. I ain't ever. You know it. Right. I don't want to. I'm not going to. Okay. It's like you see a motherfucker slip and fall on ice. I want to see if they are right first before I bust out and start laughing. I want to see if yeah. they are right before I start talking shit. Yeah, you, you're right about that. You're right on the money with that. On the motherfucking stretcher on the way out there. That's, that's foul as fuck. And honestly, I don't know how fast my recovery gonna be, niggas. Hey, you know the Browns. Should, you, know, they re- you know they about to recover like a hundred and fifty million dollars off that injury. I was about to say, do we got any uh, language in this contract about uh, yeah. injury, like injury shit? They about to re- no, this is no. Like y- y'all think y'all think y'all think y'all think they do? This the language. He's getting paid. Nigga. That's the language. Gonna, he's gonna he get, get paid, but they gonna know that gonna, money, man. It's gonna get re- no. He ain't gonna get all of it. I don't. He's gonna get all his money, man. Watch what I tell you. I don't. All right, man. Um, so that's how you. So that's so that's your feelings on the game, Pep. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, niggas. This the deal, man. I watched that game, and I'm gonna be honest. Like I said a little bit while y'all was talking, the game was okay. You know, say the defense looked like it had a little life. Chubb, you know, saying ran that touchdown earlier in the, in the um in the game. It looked at a little. It looked at a little good, but once Deshaun Watson went down, it just went all downhill from there. Um, I don't really know what 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 niggas' love affair is with DTR. I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. I rather see. I rather. I rather see Jameis Winston out there than yeah, DTR. Yeah. That's just my humble. That's just my humble opinion on that one. Um, but again, they only lost by seven. I mean, only they still lost. You know what I'm saying? Um. The fans, I'm going to be honest with y'all niggas, man. And you wonder why niggas moving to Brook Park. You wonder why they about to move to Brook Park, nigga. You want, niggas wonder why. Niggas upset, man. They about to move to Brook Park. For what? For what, nigga? Just go ahead and move to Brook Park, man. Get the fuck up out of here. Y'all niggas mad because players coming up for this nigga defense. You got Miles Garrett in the post game speaking like, damn, that's fucked up. You got um, Jameis Winston did his did his one too that he normally do. You feel what I'm saying? I think I heard Denzel Ward speaking the same shit. Nick Chubb speaking the same shit. A lot of the players are upset. So with that being said, the fans control the Browns. And that's the reason why the franchise ain't shit. It ain't shit. The fans control it. Two years ago, the fans want to baker up out of here. What happened? They gave the shine all that money. The fans want to Baker out of here. The fans wanted that, nigga. I, uh, I, 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 sometimes it was me. Sometimes it was me, too, at times. I was upset, too. But I see posts at the post at the post from niggas, white people, niggas, talk about, man, Baker need to go. Baker got to go. He got to go. So he go. I now niggas that. talk about we need him back. We want him back. Like, Who's listen, man. 
until Jimmy Haslam, Andrew Berry, until they start using some type of football knowledge and cut all this analytic bullshit out the game, we not winning nothing. And for you dumbass fans talk about, oh, shut up, dude. You will be next to get traded. Talk about Miles Garrett. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let Miles Garrett get up out of here. Then guess what happens after that? Total right. rebuild. So what you think these young so what you think a young quarterback in college looking at this shit? You know the Browns gonna have a top five pick. You think they wanna come to Cleveland, nigga? You think Cam Ward wanna come to Cleveland, nigga? Fuck out of here, nigga. Them niggas ain't gonna Cam Ward. You think niggas wanna play for this shit? You think niggas wanna play in this dumb ass shit? Like y'all niggas they both gotta be kidding you. me. That's the only thing gotta be kidding me. That's the only thing I can see. If a nigga know he getting drafted next year to the Browns. They know they're getting a new, a new stadium. They're going to have some bread. It might look up. But honestly, if them niggas ain't doing nothing this year, get what? I'm not saying trade the nigga, but if you about to go, if you're going to fuck this season off and rebuild next season or the season after, you might as well trade the nigga now and get some value for him. Right. But see, that's who? the thing. Miles but Gary. You talk about Miles Gary. Why would y'all trade y'all? Why would y'all trade corner, y'all cornerstone people? That's Why would y'all trade y'all? It's dumb, though. Wait, I, it's like, like, that I don't make sense. the NBA. Where's the Browns going? Like, is they rebuilding? This ain't the team? NBA, DJ. This ain't the NBA. This this NFL. This ain't the what, NBA. What, what you ain't just about to just, like, no. listen. It's, it's, a, it's a soft, it's not really even a hard pause rebuild that's going on. You had the pieces on defense. You had a lot of the pieces on the offensive line is injured. Mm -hmm. so, so the offensive line ain't 100%. Nick Chubb is like a top ten running back in the game when healthy. Okay. I don't get it. I don't get why why you tear this shit up at this particular moment in time. It they makes no good. sense to me. They're not good. So what, bro? It don't no, not it don't make sense that because what's going to happen is so where are you going to trade Miles Garrett to Detroit? I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying whoever got a draft capital and. I guess make salaries match. I don't know. I'm saying okay. if the Browns, I ain't on that. That, that okay. that's you. You're not a GM. I'm saying if the Browns going in full fledged rebuild mode, if they feel like this season a wash and they about to fire the coach and they need to figure shit out Man. before they move the Brook Andrew Park, Barry and, ain't no GM. He listens to the fans. If, 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 if the Browns trade, if the Browns trade Miles Garrett, I'm not a football fan again. I mean, Mike, you gonna be a fair. The Browns, the Browns is the ones that want to get rid of him. The Brown fans is the ones like if you gonna open your mouth and say something because this nigga hurt, nigga fuck you in him. No, they, they they can't get rid of like that's like getting rid of that's like getting rid of Black Mike over a five. That, no, that's not that's not even possible. The, the fans can't <laughs> vote you off a five, but they can vote you off the Browns, nigga. It's a, it's <laughs> a mention the fact it's a business at the end of the day. Oh, everybody here is. Uh, is somewhat of a Cleveland fan. I'm going by business purposes only. Nobody wants to see the nigga leave. I guarantee you that. But at the same time, if he gets traded, what what are what are people gonna do? Be mad again. Still be yeah. tailgating. Still be bullshitting. Fighting downtown. They gonna the same shit gonna happen. But that's that shit gonna change, nigga. This Cleveland, nigga. The did they not put a quality product on the field? They don't know if they what they doing at this point? They gonna be lucky to win five games, six mm. games. They not winning five. I don't think they win six games. I said they. I just don't see it. I don't see it. They play the Ravens this Sunday, nigga. Ravens about to sp now, But see, the only thing about the Ravens, but we gonna get into that shit later on. I ain't gonna say that. Yet. I'm gonna hold that off. I'm gonna hold that off. But um, y'all got anything else y'all wanna y'all wanna add to this Browns Bengals before we go to this next game? Or y'all cool? Just the fans need to hold up off on this shit. Nigga, just be a fan. You don't run shit. Your opinion is your opinion. Keep it to yourself or get you a podcast. Don't be putting all these <laughs> dick riding on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit get to them. And the moment Cleveland fans on any sport. Oh, my nigga say, anything, my nigga say, nigga say, say your opinion. My nigga say, get you a podcast then, nigga. <laughs> Mike, oh Mike, shit, that was Mike. that was a good one, man. I like that. I like that. Do you still got Cincinnati number? Huh? Yeah, we know the number. 
It just it's, it's disconnected right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying yeah, my mic. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all was talking like it was a full fledged dub last week. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. You going by you going by numbers like you always you know, do. I don't that, uh, know about numbers. You said last week that they was going to win. Because they, of numbers. They were supposed to go to. Nigga, Joe Burrow was one in five against us, bro. Okay. Like, you, so you're going to by numbers, not me. Is That's what I'm saying. But again, but but we had to like, but we but we had to like, uh, the Bengals motherfucking um, they carved are. up the Browns. They really they did not carve that, up. That last Look touchdown the was a garbage they time touchdown. Not. Let's be real. That last okay. How so many yards did Joe Burrow throw? I got Joe Burrow on my fantasy, nigga. The nigga ain't even get seventeen points on fantasy. We talk, so did they carve him up or no? About what is we talking about? They the last he ain't carved that nigga. That nigga ain't get two hundred yards passing, nigga. That nigga ain't right for two hundred. Right what is we talking about? Carving up that nigga threw for like one fifty five. Nigga, please, the only reason that nigga the only reason why Joe Burrow and I'm gonna say this before we gonna talk about that game too. Joe Burrow had a better game than Patrick Mahomes. Only reason why because Pat threw two picks and he ain't throw a pick. Hey. But he still threw the same type of yardage, nigga. Same yeah. type of comp 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 completion percentage. Whole nine. I think his motherfucking QBR was a fifty. But he carved right. up the Browns. Did he win? Hey, I, stop it. Did he win? They won. Okay. That's okay. why I said they won. I said that they carved them up. They won. Yeah. yeah they it's, won. They, they it's a dub. Yes. They hey, look, I no, a, nigga, they ain't carved them niggas up. I got a public service announcement. Public service announcement. For any of you people who smoke zigzag raps, I just opened the pack. Says a four pack. It's only two in this bitch. Uh, this nigga uh, first downs, no picks, and two hundred yards. That's not sound like a car. Sound like he carved. That's not a car. That's a win. That's a win. That's not a car. That's a win. Nigga. Car. Moving on. Yeah, Moving car, on. Dude. Moving on. Over three hundred, man. Stop playing. A win is a win. A car is a car. I said it's a win, bro. Let me just move on, bro. God damn, bro. You, you was right about that bagel shit. Kudos oh, to you. All right. Shit. I'm, I'm just damn. saying. Mike, 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 <laughs> like, come on, nigga. Y'all too yeah. long. All, All right, right, man. All right, man. All right, man. The Packers. Yeah, Texas of the Packers. All right, Texas of the Packers. That was a good ass um, game. That was a good what? ass game, And them niggas. And, then, and didn't, didn't the Packers win by a little last minute field goal, too? Yeah, they put the clamps on CJ. That's what I said. Was it a good game? Yeah, it was a good game. They clamped him up. How many times have you seen CJ Stroud since he's been playing clamped up like that? You know I'm they saying that boy on locks. That nigga and they had still a, was performing. That nigga had a horrible game. Oh. All right. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's the second year. I mean, sometimes these, these oh, second like, years. Oh, come on, we can't. Oh, yeah. The second they year, do, or whatever you want to call it, happens, though. It happens. No, no chase, no, eighty six no, yards. Yeah, what are you talking, talking about? No, talking about it, Joe dude. Burrow throwing two hundred yards. This nigga threw eighty six. He got, got, he got trash. That's a trash ass game, man. I'm just trash. Ain't trash shit. I'm, yeah, not, I'm saying I'm not defending it, nigga. I'm not defending it at all. I'm like, oh, I'm just saying at the end of the day. I'm saying it was. I'm just saying at the end of the day, right? And it was a good game too, for real. It was. It was back and forth. The running game, God, but damn. the running game DJ. for the Texans though, the running game in the Texans, like Joe Mixon, bro, like Joe Mixon, um, and uh, with my boy um Henry over there with the Ravens. Those two niggas is having some good years. Saquon mm -hmm. and, and um over there the Eagles. Yes, them niggas like way putting it together great. on the running side, <sighs> doing their thing. Jordan Love, okay, all right, man. But the NFC North is still a, a tough division. And I yes, feel like at this point, the Packers, to keep up with the Lions, they got to keep winning. So this is a good win for the Packers as far as their division is concerned. Mm -hmm. This is a good win for them because they need mm -hmm. it. I think they only again. They need it this one. Yeah, but I don't know. Because at the end of the day, I'll tell you this. Since we were talking about that Biles Gear shit earlier, I'll tell you this. Before the trade deadline, Crosby or Garrett is going to be over there with the Lions. Book it. One of them two niggas. Book it. Book that. I don't see them niggas. I really would like to see Matt, Matt Crosby over there. I'd like to see Matt Crosby over there with Detroit, to be honest with you, because that boy um, Hitchison out for the year. Shit, they, they are the linebackers. 
So I, I mm-hmm. would I would I would love to see Mike Crosby over there. I think Matt Crosby with Detroit, that'd be a good look. My humble opinion. I don't opinion. think you can make a major splash like this. Mm. They, they I don't need, know. It's Super Bowl. Like, right need, now, the NFC. The way they, they got NFC they got wide open. And, and plugging people in, they believe in Dan Campbell. So I don't know if he's going to try to try to see if it worked um, with, the, with a couple guys first and then say, all right, we need to go get somebody. But as is, them niggas. They only got a few weeks. Them niggas good. They only got a few weeks, though. And I feel like at the end of the day, it's it's, it's not really Super Bowl or bust for the Lions, but I just feel like they should just go for that shit. Go for that shit, man. NFC, NFC wide open, go for that shit. If I'm new, you feel me? But again, that, that was a good game, though, to me. That was a nice game, though. You know what I'm saying? Packers. Huh? If they went out their division, they, they, it's, it's their division they got to fight through. Everybody else is. Don't sleep on them. Can't say that. Bears. You can't, can't say that, though. That's their division. Cause, cause, and then, I mean, I understand that, but I'm talking about what you said, like, if they win the division, they could just skate through the playoffs. No, I don't. I don't believe that. I don't. I, I just don't. I can't say that about no team. I wouldn't even say that about Kansas City. I just. I ain't gonna do, do that. Like I ain't gonna disrespect these niggas like that. You feel me? Eagles trying to get their shit together. Forty ers I don't know what the fuck Forty Niners got going on. I don't know what they got going. On. But anyway, Titans Bills. Amari Cooper first game with the Bills. The nigga Coleman had to tell that nigga, hey, hey, man, run right here so you can get that touchdown, my nigga. You say, oh, say less. Good luck. <laughs> that game was a boring-ass game, to be honest with you, man. Boring as hell. Titans. It was a, de- it was a decent game at, at the start. Josh Allen looked a little shaky. Um, yeah. He got he got, he got, the, mm. rust, got the rust off of him. Uh, Titans defensively, to me, they need they, they got way more pieces than they show. And I don't know if it's just because they offense so goddamn terrible or niggas get discouraged or what. But defensively, the Titans are better than what their record reflects. Man. Offense is dog shit. I ain't going to lie, that offense bad. But uh, Buffalo look, looked how they've been looking. I don't know if Amari Cooper really just played his way out of Cleveland and pulled the, pulled the shebang on these niggas. Niggas talking about Amari Cooper was the problem in Cleveland. He led the league in drops. That nigga had five Who's targets and four catches. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. Cleveland fans be saying some of the dumbest shit. It's not. Dumbest it's, that's the truth, though. Yeah. That's the truth. No, he not. led the league. As, he did lead the league. He led, he led the league in drops, but he wasn't the reason why we trash. No, he not the reason why niggas trash. I ain't, I ain't saying that. I'm saying he led the league in drops. His stats were terrible. I mean, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, for sure. That's I mean, real. Yeah, for sure. So, so here's my thing. He go to another team, another situation, and he magically get hands. No. What you think? It look, obviously that looks like what that is. But like I said, it ain't like we. It ain't like the Brown the fans are saying are, are stating a lie. He did lead the league in drops. Let's keep it a buzz. Whether he went I mean, somewhere cool. else, and, whether he it's, went somewhere else and got hands or not, he still is the truth. Yeah. No, it's the truth. He led the league in drops. Look it up. He led the league in drops but again, look man. Like, so it ain't he did lead the league in drops, but again, I'm not. I'm not about to say. I'm not about to say. Dude, just turn. Dude, just shook it off and turn back. No, good off a game uh, against the Titans. Though. But and but we're so, also talking about Mari Cooper though. Sorry. Mari Cooper ain't no slouch. But he did lead the league. I mean, he's not. Let's keep it a book. Yeah, Look, he did lead the league. It ain't like he we lying. I mean, that's fine. No, that's this fine, is man. But how, how do a nigga that lead the league and drops only on five have four catches on five targets? Some some ain't some ain't adding up. And what you I, mean? You got to go man. DJ, you, you don't have some time to get a decent throw off because Deshaun Watson ain't had none in a while. Uh, no, no time. So if the ball saying, hits your hands and you drink it, it don't matter what, what's going on. The nigga, uh, the, the nigga, listen, man. The nigga is a good player, bro. We went and got him for a reason. But he led right. the league and drops. Whether he, whether he magically all of a sudden he went to Buffalo and got great hands or whatever the case may be, that's fine. He still... Had nine drops this season and led the league with the Browns. Like that don't make. But sense. at the end of the day, I like, like I see OBJ do the same type shit. Yes. It, it, it got a ring after that. Yes. But that I mean, it is yes. what it is. That's what I'm saying. So do niggas really be? Do they really be quote unquote dropping shit, or do they really be trying to drop out of Cleveland? 
Yeah, now that's the question you need to ask the locker room. Y'all want me to be doing it for real or what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Honestly, that's man, I don't question. really know. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Well, don't nobody really know what's going on in that locker room. He catches the ball. Yeah, for that's what I'm saying. Like, all right. Five times, that's 80%. That's, that's a great stat. Hell, ain't no telling. Him and Deshaun Mark Watson might not have got along. You know what I'm saying? Who yeah. knows? Who knows what the inside yeah, that locker been, room is? It, it could have been, been anything. It could have been anything. But the stats show. To me, honestly, you, yeah, man, I feel you, like folks. That's said. what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, like, dude went four for five against the Titans. Let's see what he do next week Keep or the week going, after that. Yeah. He played the Titans, nigga. He played the fucking Titans. All what? right. Like, come I'm on. talking about the Cowboys. <laughs> like, come on. Been, like, all these teams that ain't good, the nigga ain't, still ain't do it. I mean, not, not the you Titans. Who? The Jags. Like, all these other teams the Browns played that he didn't look good against. He looked good on Sunday. Nigga, he played one motherfucking game. He looked like he done played five games already. He didn't look good. <laughs> he, <had him. laughs> he, looked back, he looked good in one game better than he looked all season with the Browns. Man, that's like you going somewhere else and shining. Shut up. I'm shining. I mean, I ain't gonna fake though. I ain't gonna fake though. I don't know about that. I gotta, I gotta look back, man. I can't really look back because I'm on the live I mean, and shit. Because I do energy. got that nigga in my fantasy too. I know he, I know he hit me. I know that nigga Amari gave me 20 one of these games. I can't remember which game that was. But um, he got new energy, all right. a new environment. That's what that is. Bottom line, that's cool. He, like, he all right. Like he cool. He cool, man. But let's see what's up to this, this next game, man. So, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ask you this, pimp. What was the game that you picked, pimp? I picked the um, Commanders. Hmm? Commanders no, versus the um, no, 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 the Vikings and the um, Vikings and the Lions. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna ask y'all this. I'm gonna ask the whole panel. So y'all want to talk about Vikings versus the Lions? Or y'all want to talk about Chiefs 49ers? Which game you want to talk about first? Vikings versus Niners. Fuck the 49ers. I mean, Chiefs versus... Yeah. Vikings versus the Lions. Fuck them Niners. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, you know what I'm saying? The Lions took out a undefeated team. Yeah, definitely did. Minnesota was kicking niggas' ass. Hey, but that was a tight ass. This game though, bro. Mm-hmm. That game was tight. That was a good game too. Now that was one of the that was one of the better games this 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 uh this football week seven. This is that was one of the better games in my eyes. Mm-hmm. I really think that Detroit man Detroit could really do something, man. I think Detroit was one piece away from being Super Bowl contender. Yeah. I think the way that the NFC is right now, they kinda like how could I put this? Not bored. I kind of like on the cusp, real talk, because like we're going to talk about the 49ers in a second. The Eagles, okay. There's a lot of teams like the Bears. They got a rookie quarterback. You it's, feel me? Jordan Love is cool. right now. Yeah, they, they, they good, but he's still a rookie quarterback. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I, I don't too. know how it's going to get. Would it get, would it get, you know what I'm saying? It's close to around playoff time or close to like the end of the season. When niggas need certain wins, how that's gonna go? Who is that for the Bears? Bo Nix. You know that's Bo Nix from the Bears, ain't it? No, no, it's Caleb no, Williams. Uh, Caleb Williams. Bo Nix okay. for the um, for the um, for the Broncos. And then on top of that, we, like I said, then we got the then you got the um, the the, the the NFC South. You don't know what's really gonna happen with um with the Falcons or the Buccaneers. You see what I'm saying? Which I don't really fear any of those teams if I'm that if I'm Detroit though. Uh, I'm Detroit at this particular moment in time. I don't really feel the. I don't fear the 49ers. I don't really fear the Eagles. It's not really a team in the NFC that I could that you could definitively say is as good or better than Detroit at this particular moment in time right now. Um, in the NFC, uh, mm-hmm. uh you know what? Hands, that's just as you could say. That's hands down. Like I'm going with this team over Detroit every time. It's not a team. Like that in the NFC, the 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 Detroit Lions got a fighting chance against any contender team in the NFC. That's a fact. They offense, they can run that bitch when they want to run that bitch. Even though they they lost a receiver and shit in the game, I forgot my nigga name. They did lose a receiver, 
but they can run the ball. Jared Goff, that nigga Jared Goff, man. Hey, man, I ain't going to hold you. And this is crazy to say this shit. But seven weeks in, Jared Goff is having an MVP-like season to this point. I don't think – I think that nigga from, from, from week four to right now, I think that nigga only had – only got like one or two incomplete passes, nigga. That nigga went 26 for 26 one game. I think this game, he went 21 for 21 or 19 for 21 or some crazy shit. Like, so that nigga like, did golf turn it's up. All, that it's not like you never ever take – it's not like, like you're about to take uh, Detroit coming off the NFCs. Nah, it's still early, though. I, I, they look good, though. They look real good. And a lot of – and, like, the 49ers look real bad because that was the team – that niggas would like niggas don't like the 49ers. I already know how you feel about that shit. But in the past three years, the 49ers was kind of like, we you it's gotta be. beat them niggas. Yeah, but right now, it just don't look like that. No McCaffrey, Debo injured, Kittles mm-hmm. injured, everybody injured. So it's like, I mean, Detroit could steal the shit, man. They could that steal this no shit. Steal. That ain't no steal. That's part of football. Look. Yeah, you're right, but they could, but ain't nobody think that Detroit was gonna be in the Super Bowl this year. They could probably fuck around being the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Way they should yeah. just say they get to the Super Bowl, man. Hey, man, they get to the Super Bowl. Hey, Kendrick, go ahead, get Eminem white ass up there with you, nigga. Fuck it. If Detroit gets to the Super Bowl, because we ain't probably gonna never see that again. And <laughs> we probably ain't gonna never see no shit like that again. But shit, how you was feeling about that game, though, Pimp? I was thinking that it was a good possibility, and they needed to do this because them niggas came off the bye. They was rested. Sometimes rest don't do every team. You know what I'm saying yeah. sometimes they come off a little. They not quite game ready, ready. And Detroit need that shit. We gonna beat y'all ass. We especially after the way they came off of Dallas. Yeah, we go. We gonna beat y'all ass. We we trying to establish. That this shit belong to us. So how, they made how y'all feel about the about Vikings, me. though? I like the Vikings. They made a they made a statement about beating them too. I ain't yeah. gonna hold. Yeah, I, I like the Vikings. The Vikings look real good. Jerry Jeffrey trying to his way down there. Oh yeah, he doing this thing. I ain't gonna fake. Justin Jefferson out there on, on this on this Jefferson, yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all see? Hey, real talk on the side note. Y'all seen that? Um, y'all see the little. Interview them niggas had like a couple days ago where they tried to do like the old ESPN cover with um, Randy and um, KG. Yeah, they had a whole, whole little interview and shit. That shit is kind of live. Y'all should, you know what I'm saying? Look that shit up, man. Like, I fuck with Anthony Edwards for real. And, what do you do? Walk off that's a the nice, interview? That's a, no, oh, they just was chopping it up. Like, they just chopping it up, talking shit to nigga Anthony Edwards. It's like, shit, nigga. Nigga, I can play football. Like nigga, they I'm hooping, nigga. They I, championship. I'm coming to play uh, football. Yeah. He talk about, he talk about, he, get, he talk about all he got to do is lift. Nigga. He'll be up there. he get to lift it, pause. But I mean, I like at the era. I just like the moxie of that young nigga, man. That young nigga, I fuck with him. And, Jess, and Justin Jefferson is definitely doing his thing. That defense over there with the with the, with the the Vikings, mm. keep an eye out. I don't that shit. They, 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 they looking like the purple people eaters. They looking like the purple people eaters. Hey, I ain't even gonna hold you. I think uh, the Vikings gonna be in the uh, NFC Championship. Whoa. Uh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I heard yeah, he said it week seven. I'm gonna remember. I said, I'm gonna lock that in that he said that. Though. I said, and I said one of the teams in the NFC Championship. No, that's cool. But the only reason why I say no is because of the way that division is so close. You might fuck around and have to see one of your division opponents in the playoffs, and you know that's always gonna be a tough matchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, that, like if they had they to see a, Detroit again, they or, got a solid or, uh, team though. Green yeah. Bay or something. They ain't even played Green Bay yet. I gotta see. Like I gotta, I gotta. I'm about to after we get the, off this shit today. I'm gonna look up the schedule. I'm gonna see what, uh, what Green Bay play. Uh, the Vikings. I want to see what game, what, what that game is. I know that shit should be coming up soon. They All played. Right, nigga. They, they played Green Bay already. They definitely. And they uh, beat Green Bay one time. They, they, I think they beat Green Bay when Jordan Love was out though. If I'm not mistaken, right? They 
It'd be yeah. Okay, I want to see him with Jordan Love on the field. That's what I'm saying. In the second to last. Right. Week. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. A little, little, little December situation, December vibes. All right, nigga. Chiefs, 49ers. <laughs> Who won? I ain't gonna watch that shit. What you laughing? <laughs> Why you laughing, man? I ain't gonna hold you. This nigga hey, Brock. Man. Brock hey, Brady man. played. He played without no weapons and then threw a fucking pick when it mattered the most. Mm-hmm. That nigga threw three picks, nigga. I'm talking about the one in the red they just zone. Throw one. I ain't. I ain't talking about the. I'm talking about the one in the red zone in the fourth quarter that was about to get them niggas in the game. That win. Like tie the game up. It was a tie the game up, right? Not not with the game. Tie the game, right? Yeah, tie the game up. If they, they would have got the touchdown and kicked the field goal, they would have. I think they would have been up by one. I don't know if they would have won. Still, I don't know. You got this. They got this nigga. They got, they got this nigga. Pat Mahomes running forty five yards down the sideline. <laughs> you got Pat Mahomes over here trusting motherfucking DBs and like shit. Like what the man. hell going on? Did you bro? see the play? They let. The- the nigga go like just like you can't touch this nigga or something. Mm-hmm. Hey man, but you see how the nigga you see how the nigga chuck that little DB for the TD though. Like we not even about to act like niggas. Like it was three niggas on the forty nine. Oh, the Niners, the Niners in the Niners defense, they're not healthy right now. They not. They not. They not, they not healthy, they healthy at all. The and, but see if they had, but see I feel like if they had Greenlaw, that game is totally different. Greenlaw wasn't out there either though for the forty ers and I don't think I think he out for the year if I'm not mistaken. I I ain't sure. He t- tore his Achilles yeah. too when he tore that bitch in the Super Bowl or the close to the yeah. Super Bowl or some shit. Yeah, you can't be mad at them because they having a they having an injury prone year. So I'm they ain't mad at you. Too. Too. They no, I'm not saying bad, but as injured yeah. as they are. They're, yes, that, yeah, yeah, say that. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you this. Like I said, like I said, like maybe week two or week three when we was having this whole little. Chris Scuffle, whatever you want to talk about when it comes to Josh Allen. And I said, yeah, the uh, the Chiefs will fuck around and lose to the Bills. I feel like that game is coming up. That game is like two weeks from today or two. Like, I think we will have a show. I think we'll have a show Saturday, a Tuesday night quarterback next week. And then I think they played that following Sunday. I'm going to stick to that. Like, I'm going to stick well, to that. Not the like, knocked off? They, no, they I three think the games Chiefs going to lose today. No. Four games away, like a month away? Yeah. Okay. All right. 17. Who's the best defense in the league right now? Who got the best defense in the NFL, y'all? Eyes? I don't fucking Minnesota. What about you, Mike? I was You said Minnesota, too? Yeah. You said, you said that, too, Pip? Yeah. I mean... For real, for real, that 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 defense is letting that boy do the shit he doing. Hey man, listen, man, you know I'm a Pat Mahomes fan. Pat Mahomes, as far as his his numbers to this point, horrendous, horrible. He's six and zero. Why you think that is? Referees. So did the ref, so what the refs do this what the refs do uh this past what, Sunday? What the refs what do this Sunday? So refs made that nigga saying, throw that pick, nigga. So what you saying? Is, refs made that nigga throw that they, pick in the end zone. The referee, nigga. He said yeah, do shit. Wait, what you, you say Pittsburgh? Me. Oh my nigga, uh, nigga O oh, said Pittsburgh. Damn, see, that's how you know that's how you know it's bad in the city. You got Cleveland niggas repping. you got Cleveland niggas showing Pittsburgh love in this bitch. That's how you know it's fucked up. That's how you know it's fucked up. It's, Hey, but but the Pittsburgh Steelers do got they, a good defense too, though. We gonna talk about they that. Got they got that, that defense is good. Boy. They got that white boy, JJ Watt. Yeah, which, but I ain't gonna fake the is. real or the low. Chief. Or the yeah. low, the Chiefs, the Chiefs on the de- defensive side, bro. Hell no, they're not. You said they're the best. Right, you said they're the best defense in, the, in football. I, I said they're what? Uh, I did not say that. I said the Chiefs they, are. 
a good defense. I ain't say that. I asked y'all a question. I I asked you a I question. You I I don't got no answer for no questions, nigga. I asked you a question for you to answer. I don't have an answer. For oh, no I'm just saying you mentioned best defense. I don't have that. That ain't what I'm doing. That ain't what I'm doing. That's not what I'm gonna do, bro. That's not what I'm doing, bro. So you ain't got no answer for that. You know, you just you just mentioned the cheat. No, for real, the real the real answer, the real answer to that is for real, for real. You want to be honest with you. I do like the Vikings defense. I'll fuck around. I might say like Detroit is up there too. They probably wrote Detroit if it was me. You feel what I'm saying? But I mean the Chiefs do got one of the defenses that it's like it's if hard to really by- beat the biggest, bro. If we go on by stats and total defense, it's funny as hell. I just said this shit earlier. The Titans by stats is the best, the best defense in the, in the league. Yeah. But if we go on by eye testing and overall what niggas is doing, I'm gonna say the Vikings. The Vikings look damn good. Detroit look damn good. Hell, uh, the, 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 the Texas, the Texas defense look damn good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but, but the team that, but the only team that's undefeated, but the only team that's undefeated defense is trash, though. So, we just, man, listen, bro. You had, you listen, had listen, work. Hold on, hold on, DJ, because he had So, the only the team play. that's undefeated defense is trash. Yes or oh, no? That's all I'm asking. Ahead. I need a yes or no answer. Like you didn't answer, just like you didn't answer who was, was the, the best defense in the game. Asked you a question, nigga, and, no. and, and why you I asked? I, and then I asked another one. Like, so no. how is the team? How is the only team that's undefeated do not have a top ten defense? And that's the only team that's undefeated. They, they, they have a top ten. They just ain't the best defense in the league right now. They nobody said they, they. They said they. Nobody said they wasn't top ten. They just not the best defense in the league right they now. They're top, top five. They're the top five for sure. You just you you want you want to. That's what it, that's what it is. That's what it is. So yeah, so all right. I'm gonna ask you a question for you, nigga. They not fifth, nigga. I'm gonna ask you. A, I'm gonna answer the question for you. Chiefs is a top three defense in the league, nigga. You're fucking okay. drunk. Okay, man. I ain't how? This how? Nigga. how? All right. How that be? How that be a week eleven with they eleven and how that be the nigga? How that be no eleven no. Right, how let me in, nigga. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. I'm, 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 I was wrong about that shit. Fuck that shit, Josh Allen. You're going down. Fuck that shit. How let me in with this 11 and 0, nigga. Oh, geez. Y'all crazy. Y'all tweaking. Y'all ain't watching this shit. Y'all tweaking, bro. So let me it's say this. Tweaking, bro. Hey, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a Talk question? to me, man. You're, you're a low key Chiefs fan, aren't you? You I'm know that nigga, the bandwagon. Oh, you ain't a Chiefs fan. Bad yeah, okay. Mafia. Get the fuck on out of here, bro. <laughs> nigga, I've been rolling with that nigga Pat Mahomes since he been on the damn Chiefs, nigga. Get the fuck on out of here, nigga. Stop playing with yourself, nigga. Stop playing with yourself, nigga. You just mad, nigga. You just mad because because at the end of the day, for, for you, for you, DJ, I fuck with you. You a friend of mine. I fuck with you. Just for you, I wish, I won't. I would love the Chiefs to lose a game before the end of the season because I don't because I don't want to have this conversation with you come January if they are defeated. I don't want to have that. I, 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 I'm with friends. I fuck with you, man. You're my friend, bro. You're my friend. You see what I'm saying? You're my friend, man. You're my friend. That is you are my fucking friend, bro. I do That's not want to. I do not want to be at odds with my friend, bro. And I feel like if these niggas get, if these niggas stay undefeated to the end of the season, going into the playoffs, it's gonna fuck up our friendship, bro. I don't want that for us. I don't want that for us, bro. Let me ask you, bro. I don't, bro. I don't bro. Sorry, Black Mike. Uh, record, records aside, records aside, the Jets got a better defense than the Chiefs. Do the who? On oh, paper. The New York. On oh, paper, they do. On oh, paper, do they got a better defense than the Chiefs? No, on oh, paper, they do. They two and five, bro. I said, listen, that might is the record. Nigga, are you listening? I said, record. I'm listening to you. Just, they you just gave up 37 points yesterday. What are you talking about? They just gave up 37 yesterday, nigga. They just gave up 37 yesterday. A and T scored 25 on the Chiefs. All season, them niggas just gave up thirty-seven yesterday. They gave up thirty another game. They gave up thirty another game, nigga. No, just nigga. Me. At the end of the day, we have the Browns have just as much weapons on defense as the Jets. 
The Browns is one and five. The Jets is two and five. What the fuck is we talking about? about we talking about defense. Stop it, nigga. Just I am team. talking about defense. Their defense, defense, defense is not good. Five. You can score on their defense. Russell, what the fuck Russell Wilson did last night on their defense, nigga? And that's his first game back. What are you doing this defense, nigga? Like the nigga Get the shit. fuck out of here with that, nigga. Like that defense ain't shit, bro. That defense subpar. Uh-huh. That defense subpar. That shit good on paper, nigga. That shit uh-huh. ain't that shit ain't a hun. It ain't a hun, nigga. It ain't a hun. It's not a hun. Sorry, it's not that. So no, it's not that. Jets Everything had a top ten defense right now. It's not that. Playing with a great offense. Uh oh. Crickets. I don't fuck crickets, nigga. You know? Crickets. Exactly. I don't you talk about crickets. crickets, nigga. I said I don't know. How is you I don't know a cricket? I'm telling you, I don't know. Fucking that a cricket, nigga. I'm speaking you to you, nigga. That's what no. I'm saying. I don't want this to fuck up my friendship, bro. It's I'm trying. I'm trying to preserve our friendship. Know. You ain't understanding that. You ain't getting that shit, bro. They go undefeated, more power to them. But who? How are you a fan and you don't know? Probably the Ravens, nigga. Probably. That was the first. More than likely, it is the Ravens, nigga. But it is the Ravens. That's the best offense they played. Thus far is the Ravens. They played the Bengals as well. Okay, so what did they do? What, what 49ers happened? injured. 49ers could have been in the conversation so, for the majority of the playmakers. So was against, injured. The, against the Ravens and against the Bengals, they look real fucking friendly. So if we talk about niggas mm-hmm. that's got good defenses, we could we could make it look good by playing trash ass niggas that can't score. Of course. Yeah. Real play oh, trash ass niggas. Fuck. You act, man, my nigga, you act like this high school or something. You act like the coach is in a fucking room with a phone Listen. setting up the goddamn schedule, it nigga. Get the fuck on with that shit, my nigga. You sound crazy as fuck for real, for what? And it's cool. Like I said, I don't want it to fuck up our friendship, nigga. But I'm on, but I'm on that shit. Brian's about to be one in 16, whoa. one in 17, nigga. I'm on that shit now. Now you know where I'm at. They ain't about to win the game. Brian's ain't about to win another game, nigga. That's a fact. Whoa, that's a fact. Whoa, I'm sorry. That's whoa, a fact, nigga. Whoa, that is whoa, a watch fact. It. Watch who it, they gonna beat, bro? You'll see. They if don't. DTR, they start quarterback. Who they beating, nigga? Okay. Get the fuck okay. out of here, bro. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. They gonna be the hottest. I've I sat here and watched game after game after game, nigga. God, they keep damn. doubling, holding motherfucking Miles Garrett. Right. My nigga, my nigga, JKO God, is trying damn. and shit, but. It's not like the defense ain't really up to par. The, uh, and the offense trash. So uh, how they gonna win a uh, game? Uh, I don't even do the Jets gonna win another game. You wanna be honest with you? They got the they got no, the two, they got that nigga Adams. Don't try to don't, 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 don't try to don't try to throw no game in there. Nigga, I don't man, uh, Mike. I, I know what I said. Uh, I'm honest. I'm uh, that's how I feel, uh, nigga. I'm not uh, talking we not talking about these niggas no more after the night. You think I'm about you think I'm about the right Browns, anything on some shit and send the dame to talk in the post, it's over with. I'm not talking about them niggas no more. If y'all want to talk about them, if DJ would to bring it up, talk shit, if y'all want to talk about them niggas in the motherfucking, you feel me, on this Tuesday night quarterback, that's on y'all. As far as Gab is concerned, it's a rash, nigga. It's over with. I see it enough. I don't have nothing else to say. Cavs play on Wednesday. I'm done. Y'all niggas to fuck with this football shit. Well, that's what, cool. And we talk this football shit. I'm a uh, basketball what, nigga. What, what, My shit what actually ain't playing right now. I should have cut on that next game, nigga. I'm telling you, it's over with. DJ, what was it's cool. He jumped off. What is said Bad Wagon Mafia. What the fuck is you talking about, Bad Wagon Mafia? Nigga? I'm a realist, nigga. The, the Browns is a rap. They booed. They booed that nigga and being injured, and they and they go and the football guys don't play around with that shit. Browns ain't winning nothing, nigga. That's bullshit, and they're gonna pay for that. Bad and that's facts. So, feel how you want to feel, Browns fans, non Browns fans. I don't give a fuck. What feel how you want to feel. You, you never should have booed that nigga and get injured, nigga. The ball guys ain't playing with that shit as a rap. I'm trying to figure out. Any a Browns fan? You a Browns fan? I am. I'm a realist. It's over with. Wait, wait, wait. The Browns season is a rap. Nigga, nigga, what you mean? Nigga, nigga, Dave, didn't we just do a funeral service for these niggas two weeks ago? I was being nice. And, and, and start talking no, about it again. I was being nice, nigga. Nigga, I was being nice. Nigga, I came in this bitch all black two weeks ago, DJ. I been killed them niggas. I was being nice, nigga. I brought them back because I was being nice. Nigga, I seen what I seen, nigga. It's a rap. I seen this story too many times, nigga. I seen it too many times. I sat here and watched every game and they was 0-16. Niggas having parades about 0-16. What are y'all talking about? It's over with. Cut it, cut it the fuck out, bro. I got, I got a question for you. What, what's up? Holla. I got a question What's for you. up?
So my What's question that? is this: Is you are you <laughs> are you a Kansas City Chiefs fan or a Browns fan? Both. Or are you a right Browns now, fan? You, you oh, wait, 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 this is a two-part question. Are you a Chiefs fan or a Browns fan? And it did. if you, and are you only when they win it? As far as the Browns fan? Oh, you crazy. All right, here we go, here we go. Let me, let me answer this question for you. Let me, let me, let me answer this question for you in one word. I'm clear all the way through, bro. Until period. As ask, ask Dane, Dane. When them niggas went over 16, what was the nigga trying to do when them niggas went over 16, Dane? Go f fuck that right. Them fuck niggas was one in fifteen. What the fuck are they? We were talking about them niggas every day before niggas knew about in the post. They was one in fifteen. What happened yeah. then, Dane? What? Niggas, man, stop playing you, with me. See, that's the problem with you niggas in the city. What and that's what's mean? wrong with this Cleveland <laughs> shit all the time. Right. That's why niggas be leaving this hoe. Because the problem be, you man, niggas be no trying to put one thing Lakers on another hat, nigga. Like, no, nigga. I you see what, no niggas? I haven't seen the Lakers hat, though. <laughs> We're talking all about nigga. What type of what, what shirt? What you got a collar? What, what shirt? You, you got a collar? Horry shirt on? Like, what are you talking about? Jump in some water, nigga. What do you mean? Uh, stop it. it. Stop, stop, stop playing with me. This is this is gonna go left real fast. Stop playing with me. I'm not really trying to go left. I really want to go right, but this could go left. I'm just, in, in an instant. I just wanted to go right. I don't want to go left. Bro. I haven't seen it. I ain't trying to go left, bro. I haven't seen it. I've seen the Lakers yet, though. <laughs> but see, at the end of the day, that's your problem, nigga. Because at the end of the day, you stay cross T. You want on the clear, nigga. How can you find? It? How can you see it? You want on the clear, nigga. You cross T. I was on the clear with that shit. You can't. You ain't gonna see it. You ain't gonna see it, my nigga. I'm sorry. You're not gonna see it. I see it, but I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't post everything on Facebook and Instagram. And then on top of that, I blocked your ass. You was talking all that shit 2016 about the cast. I blocked your ass. So a lot of that shit you couldn't even see. So what are you talking about? Like stop playing. I blocked you because you was talking that shit in the beginning of 2016. Like the cast logo with that shit. I blocked your ass and they won that shit. You remember that, don't you? You remember that, don't you? The cast 2016 around Jay. Beginning of the year, I blocked your ass. Oh, you was talking all that. No, I Cavs they win this shit. The Cavs trash. I blocked the fuck out your ass. So how the fuck you gonna see me in the Cavs hat, nigga? Cut the fuck out, nigga. How you gonna see me? How you gonna see me? I just unblocked you in 2020. 2018, nigga. 2018. Like what are you talking about? Like cut it out, man. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out, bro. Uh, bro Thomas, hey, man. DJ, for the record, my you question. For the record, my question didn't get answered. I, I but these niggas, these niggas doing all this convoluted. If you if your boy would just chill out, let me answer the shit, we can move on. But your boy keeps sliding in this bitch talking about I see the wood of the head on. Oh, he keep convoluting this shit. Up. So I'm gonna keep throwing this. I'm gonna keep throwing the spice in this hole. No Cleveland. I'm gonna keep throwing the spice to the house, brother. That's what I do. And we know. And we know. And we in there. We is in different houses, though. We in different houses. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shit, my girl Jenny, man. That's I'm my nigga. Shout out to her, man. Shout out yeah. to niggas tapping in on this Tuesday night quarterback. But for real, I am a Browns fan. But oh, you are. I am disgusted. I've been disgusted. Ooh, I've been you disgusted. Got it. I'm disgusted. Hey, hey, listen, I'm disgusted. If you're a Browns fan, like, you, you, gotta niggas, get, you gotta get DP because ain't no way you gonna sit here and say DP. What this ain't no gang, nigga. What you think I'm hanging with Randy? This is like no gang, nigga. DC, get the fuck on out of here, man. Hey, Mike, get out of here with that shit, Mike. Get the fuck out of here. The Browns fan on Saturday night football. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, you know what? 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 For the sake of this argument, Mike, you the you the you the only cat that I know that's like really a hundred percent all the way locked in when it comes to this Brown shit. So if you said that, then I gotta respect it. You're right. I, I I guess I do deserve that because I'm, I'm going a little crazy no, by saying fuzzy. what a sixteen, no, they, what a seventeen. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Whew. I don't see how. This, but but this, I'm just talking about schedule wise though. Yeah. Schedule wise with the Browns, who they gonna win? Hey, I don't. Kid, know. So I'm like fucking around to be back at the top. They gonna Miami. I, who they gonna I don't win? Know. They got one more tailgate in. Yeah. If they lose this coming Sunday, it's a wrap. I'm folding up my tent, going to give me some money. 
They got the Ravens. I know. Hey, Jimmy, this nigga got it. Hey, that nigga went Carl Thomas on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, cuz you wanna know what it really was? Hey, listen, listen. Let's just all calm down. You wanna know what it really was? It's just the fact that mm. niggas will say some shit and they keep commenting. It's like a phone ding ding ding. It's like four or five comments from this nigga. It's like he say what thing and he not done, so he gonna keep going. He not done. So he gonna keep going. He not done. So then by the time I see it, it's like, man, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Man, fuck this shit. Ooh, I don't got time for this. I just blocked it. I just blocked it. Yeah. I'm high. You're yeah. fucking up a high nigga at the time. I just blocked the hoe. I'm sorry, bro. Like, at the end of the day, I thought we were over this shit. I thought we were over this shit. I'm bringing this up is because it's like shit. I thought we was over this shit, my nigga. Like, come on, man. We 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 we, we, we was on the 200 episode. We had bottles of, of 42 and shit. We was cool. Like, I thought we, you know what I'm saying? I thought that shit was behind us, bro. Like, it ain't like this going on right now. That shit over. <laughs> that shit was behind niggas. Man, hey, you said, you said it was a Kalahari shirt. I thought it was under, water under the bridge, so I had to bring it back. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. I like that nigga, my nigga on the jeans. That's why I had to unblock him. Cause I'm like, man, this is a cool nigga. I can't be in my feelings by no calves. I had to, I had to unblock my nigga, man. I can't even. Right. The, they like, man. The, we got the Broncos. The Browns got the Broncos and the Saints. The Browns can mm. beat the Broncos and the Saints. Exactly. We gotta play the Chargers too, bro. Depending on who show up for the Chargers, we might could beat them too. Damn, so can. You wanna know what? I'll tell y'all this. And then we might go back into the natty and beat them. I ain't going that far. <laughs> hey, listen, though. This is all, all I'm going to say to y'all niggas, though. This is all I'm going to say, though, for real. At the end of the day, if they, if, they, if, they don't, if they don't be fucking around and doing this DTR shit, like start DTR, then they may get some wins. They get to keep starting DTR. They talk about they did they did hire Brian Zappi and all that. Oh, they yeah. get to play any of them yeah, niggas. Side. Yeah. They play any of them Niggas, DTR, Zappy, any of them niggas, I'm out. I, 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 right now, I'm only rocking with Winston. P start Winston. Until I hear about that, I, I'm going to roll with how I roll. And that's just what it is. Sorry, y'all. That's do just think, what the truth is. Do you think DTR did bad when he got in? I mean, I feel like D DTR, I feel like they be doing him dirty because they always put him in these fucked up ass situations for real. I feel like last year, it was certain situations where he got... It, it, he was in better situations, like the game in the 49ers where Debo went down or that game against the Seahawks. He lost, but it's still a better position. I, I don't think he was in a good position throwing him in there, especially a hostile crowd. Niggas is booing. Niggas get injured. They turned up. It's already over. The writing on the wall. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to make a big play. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to make a big play to try to kill everything. And that's what fucks up a lot of shit. Instead of sticking to the game plan and trying to build – on good on good habits, niggas want to get it all back in one swing, one throw, one run. It ain't how it's gonna work. Oh, it's just not how it's gonna work. You know it when your defense hurt a nigga. What it do for your team? Yeah. It just had your team on steroids. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. All right, Charles. I know we got a little bit off track of shit, man. We got a little heated, I guess. I guess that's how niggas get these views up. Shout out to the viewership. Shout out to the viewership, nigga. All right. Ravens versus uh, Buccaneers. Who won? Uh, the Ravens? Ravens. Ravens was whooping oh. that ass, but then they did some. But then the Ravens let them niggas score 21 points in the fourth quarter. Bucks ain't no, ain't no soft. You got to get Bucks credit. They, they got a good team. Hey. Baker so Mayfield listen, down the but, on his ass. But, this but so I'm about to. I'm only thing I don't like. I'm about to chime in on that, and I'm I'm not knocking Baker. He done had a great season up to this point, but now that that nigga <laughs> don't got no weapons, we gonna see what that nigga do. Because uh, that nigga don't. Oh, shit, yeah, because hey, hey, but listen though, on the flip, when it come to that, hey, that coach, whoever that coach is over there, the Buccaneers, I forget this nigga name. You gotta be the dumbest nigga ever, bro. I don't know what's wrong with that nigga. Why the fuck you got? Why the fuck you got Chris Godwin in the game though? Y'all niggas about to lose. Y'all niggas not about to win this game. Why the nigga in there though? He got hurt. Godwin got hurt. So the nigga get. So the nigga Chris Godwin get injured with thirty seconds left. The team down by ten. What mm. the fuck type shit is that? 
He already lost Mike Evans earlier in the game on some football shit. You feel me? Already lost him earlier in the game. So now your number one and number two receiver is done. And you went shake it, bake, shake it, bake, Baker Mayfield. And, and that's where he got the shake and bake shit from is because don't let that nigga get depressing. Once he get depressing, it's going to be depressing. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. He just ain't been pressing lately. Lately, shit been cool. He having fun. He talking shit to Tom Brady. He having fun. But once that nigga get depressing, it's going to be it's gonna be depressing. And these niggas going to be stressing. You better understand what I'm telling y'all niggas. Y'all better get it. Y'all better get it together, man. I'm out here trying to preach to niggas right now. I should have had all the motherfucking feed. But I'm chilling, though. You don't say a hood attire. But I'm saying real talk, though, like, because I have see Baker Mayfield for about four or five years of his career, and he do the same shit. Baker Mayfield, if he's cool, if he's calm, if he's in the office and shit like that, Baker Mayfield is 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 spectacular. Once that nigga gets the pressing, it's the pressing, and niggas gonna be stressing. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So so y'all be so so. Hopefully, hopefully they can get that running game together because that was a bonehead. And play by the coach. Coach should have sat that nigga Chris Godwin. What you got Chris Godwin out there for? You already got one onside kick. You can't do two. They switch the rules up. You only do one. Fuck. He out there for. And the NFL corny is fucked for that too, by the way. Yeah. NFL corny for a couple of things. I hate that fucking kickoff thing. I hate that. Yeah, he yeah, don't got no weapons now, so we're going to see what that nigga look like. And if he turned into Baker that was in Cleveland, I want everybody to apologize to Deshaun Watson. Not y'all, but everybody else. I ain't going to apologize to him because I know why. I just, it just, it just, it, my, my, the nigga, I ain't going to lie though. Like, I'm just going to say this and I'm going to leave it at this. At the end of the day, my G's, that nigga Deshaun Watson. Watson, man, I guess niggas is right. Like, Oates, I, if you watching this shit, Oates, you was right. Oates said that my nigga should have just stayed with the Texans and just let that shit just fall by the wayside and not try to demand the trade. And honestly, niggas might be right because the way his career that went after he demanded the trade, that shit is it's tragic, man. It's low-key sad, for real. I ain't gonna lie. It's low-key sad, man. Like that nigga requested for a trade. And ever since he requested for a trade with Houston, his whole career, life, everything fucked up. Why? Fucked up. Not a Everything fucked up. Why? He got a he he just tore his AC, he just tore his Achilles. Why, it, why would he why cut back to the Browns? So who, why did he so who the fuck for a trade? Why did he request for a trade? Can Cause, anybody else? Cause that they, they was trying to rebuild on that nigga. They was trying to rebuild on that nigga. They traded D Hop behind that nigga back, and he ain't know about that. For what I hear, what? they traded D Hop because you remember that was his quarterback. If you remember, that was that nigga quarterback. He got drafted to the Texas. That was that nigga. That was that nigga wide receiver. And that was that was the connection. Uh, D Hop and Deshaun Watson. That was the connection, nigga. That's Bro. how D Hop got his name. Nigga. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did. So, uh, that's what I'm did, saying. They traded that them. nigga. They traded that nigga behind his back. Talk about they 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 gonna try to fight for the playoff shit, but then it's also rebuild, and he ain't want to be a part of a rebuild. Honestly, that's really the truth. That's really what happened to me. Yeah, they did him like they, they did. Just be a part of a rebuild. Hey man. Yeah. Hey, when I know your secrets, nigga, you in it for life, nigga. You can't leave. Yeah, they damn sure up them bitches too. Yeah, they up that shit because they half of the half of them secrets. Them niggas is them niggas. Them niggas is ditties. Them niggas is let that nigga. They was the name of that nigga. They set the shit up and everything. Oh, they probably man. set the shit up and everything. For that and it's crazy, bro. I mean, look. Uh, hold on, what they, you they, they uh, one of them uh, situations where they saw it going on and was like, "Look, we gonna try to get it." I thought too. I but I don't know. I ain't, I ain't hear all that. I, I thought uh, Hopkins wanted to leave first. I, I didn't know it was a trade behind somebody back. I thought the Hop wanted to leave one of the yeah. like, dudes and shit. No, no, they did that shit behind his back. He ain't know about that shit. And that's what started a lot of this shit, for real, for real. That's the truth about it. You could all can look that shit up. That's the truth. But honestly, I just don't know, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you nigga get massages. 
I don't know if the shit consensual or not. I don't know if it's consensual right, until right. it's time to get some money. I don't know what it is. And I ain't trying to disrespect these ladies. But there's a lot of but there's a lot of females who be playing this game like that. You feel me? In real life. Fuck NFL, NBA. It's regular females playing a game like that. Got niggas got niggas locked up on dumb shit. Got niggas going through a lot of crazy shit. Not yeah. me per se, but niggas as in niggas, other niggas. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. I ain't trying to disrespect the ladies though for real. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of lady watching. See, we got a lot of lady watchers, listeners, you know, say supporters. And I, I do want to support them. And if and if it was a situation to where he really did, did do some do some do some shit that he wasn't supposed to do, he 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 got to spend that time for that. Yeah, we're chasing. So all right. So I mean, it is what it is. All right, all right. I feel you. I feel you, Jenny. I'm just saying. I you feel me, like, cause I, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, like, women's rights. Women's rights is one thing you don't go against. You don't go against women's rights. You don't go against LGBT rights. Man, fuck this whole shit. Man. You don't go against. Well, no, hey, hey, man. No, hey, 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 man. Hey, 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 hey. You could just talk like that. I'm gonna have to tell the nigga Dave, to kick, man. Listen, we, we listen. Oh, this podcast on the rise. I don't, I don't want to wake up in the morning and our shit deleted because niggas out here talking crazy on Tuesday, bro. I ain't on that, bro. <laughs> Y'all gotta, like, gotta chill, man. We on the rise, man. Dave, talk to them nigga, Dave. We on the rise. Bro. Hey, you can't. Yeah. Hey, he, he said the right one though. Out of that, out of that alphabet community though, you talk about them. It's rap city. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to chill, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to chill out here. I'm, I'm trying I'm to live life. Here. But at the end of the day, just to close this, to get to this, uh, we about to get to another sad game. This is a sad game we about to talk about next. But the nigga shouldn't. And this, and furthermore, this is a Cleveland-based podcast, and I'm gonna stand on that. Like y'all niggas going for that nigga get injured and cheering for that nigga get injured, bro. It's just some shit that I, I just I can't get out of my mind right now. I'm really disgusted, bro. I'm disgusted in the city. I, I'd rather y'all niggas throw beer. Or, or I can't do that shit no more. Y'all did that already. <laughs> y'all can't throw beer cans. Y'all did that already. What the fuck? <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like. Damn, like just go like like Dave said, be a podcaster, nigga. Jump on your jump on your Instagram and make and make a post and, and tag them in it or something. Do what niggas do in this validity. Do what niggas do in this in this era. Like you niggas is crazy. Do what these niggas do in this era, bro. You niggas doing all this goofy shit. But all right, let's get to the um, let's get to this game. One of these last games. I think DJ gonna pop back in for his game and shit. Jets, Steelers, sad. That's a sad. That was a sad ass game. Man, sad game. That was sad. That was sad. Uh, I hope you don't like hear this, but I've been betting on them motherfuckers and they've been winning. <laughs> Who? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You wanna talk? You wanna know what's so fucked up? Hey, you wanna know what's so fucked up though, man? Real talk, Mike. I'm gonna be honest with you. Since we here, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You know the main reason why a nigga is really so tough on this, I'm cool on the brown shit, right? For the past three weeks, these niggas fucked up my parlay three I weeks stopped in a row. Bet with them. I'll bet with them. Three bet weeks in a them. row. I'm talking about no, I'm talking no. about everything right but the Browns games. I'm talking about it's a couple racks in a few of these bets out of loss for like $10, 20 $30. No. And shit fucking with these Browns. Yeah, I'm cool. I, I need my cash back. Listen, nigga, what y'all talk about? I do not nigga, Deshaun, up. break me yeah. off, nigga. I know you got somebody, Deshaun. I know you got that brand, Deshaun. Fuck it, I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to start fucking with Doughboy or something. Don't get it wrong. Hey, listen, Deshaun, be that's like, hey, bro. I need a couple dollars, bro. Betting on the brown is a no no. I hit the, I hit, yeah, I hit Fanduel for like not like I told you last time, but you don't bet on the brown. You don't not with not with that Vegas shit. Hell no. Yeah, I'm cool. Them. I'm cool on that dog. Like I did but, day, I'm cool. I'm talking bird, about they gotta have the Justin Fields is showing listen. his ass. He was showing his Hey, his but ass. it's over with for Justin. But but see this is the thing. After that game, after that game Monday night, I think it's a wrap for, yeah. for Justin Fields. He ain't gonna play again, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so neither. I don't, I don't think so neither. Then, Sierra husband going crazy. He asked, Sierra husband was throwing them, she was probably, throwing them dimes yesterday. No, Doc probably was. That's what probably sparked his ass. He probably went home. She probably cussed his dumb ass out. You don't let that young punk take your spot, huh? You don't let that young punk take your spot. Ain't you a champion, nigga? You, you know how this shit is. Ain't you a champion, nigga? You don't let that young boy from 
Charles, they come take your spot, nigga. <laughs> nigga, what's wrong with you, nigga? You don't let nobody take your spot. You take spots, nigga. You take other niggas' spots, nigga. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, nigga. <laughs> did you just, did you just take future spot, nigga? Stop playing with me. Oh, you get your spot back, shit, nigga. CC. That, that's what we are. That's what we are. Better CC, man. CC talking that shit to that nigga, man. Respect the CC, man. <laughs> man. Hey, man. Put your, get your, get your nigga on point, man. Get your nigga, nigga, nigga together. <laughs> that's the best I've seen that nigga Russell Wilson play in two what? years. Go get, go get your spot that's back. That's the best I've seen that nigga play in two years. If that nigga keep playing like that, they got the defense behind them. You feel me? Like, man, Pittsburgh is going to be terrible to fuck with. I man, don't even think I'm going to be going crazy, man. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm so thing, worried about thing, that. Game. I was talking all that shit at the beginning of the year. Like, the Steelers, y'all got no quarterback. Y'all got right, me too. Me God too. damn, man. I feel like a dumb ass today. You see what I'm saying? When they went and got that boy, I said, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't even. I'm not even. I don't even think I'm gonna go to Pittsburgh this year. That's how bad that's gonna look. No, I'm not about to go down there and watch, watch us get our asses whooped. No, not even gonna do it. Them niggas, man. But, but, but see, at the end of the day, Dave was talking about some little tailgate shit. I don't know. I'm still like way fifty fifty on it because I feel like this coming down there on some brown shit this year, nigga. It's it's suicide. Yeah. You might as well stay at the crib. <laughs> like I said, like I said, I got one more. I still got all my shit in my van because I got I got it's my own suicide. everything. TV, tent, grill, all. I got my own everything. So I got one more left. And these motherfuckers all don't right. even look remotely good. It's a wrap. Yeah, the Jets do. The Jets, the Jets is trash, though. Aaron Rodgers, man, this is last season. This is last yeah, season. It's a, this is last yeah. season. He about to retire. He about to retire. About to get trapped in his house. All right, shit. Well, shit, nigga, let's. Let's switch this shit up a little bit, man. Now, you was talking that shit son, Saturday, pimp. About what? Talk about Minnesota and all that. Yeah. yeah, nigga. That nigga Spike Lee was out there looking like Michael Irvin on the on the on the He was out there. He was out there praying, nigga. And hey, that nigga Spike Lee was praying out that bitch, nigga. Hey, nigga, that nigga was praying, my nigga. That nigga was in deep prayer, nigga. Like, please win the championship for the city of New York. Please. That nigga was praying, nigga. He definitely was praying because at the end of the day, I'll tell you this. That was the first game I watched that I felt like the refs really controlled that WNBA game. And that's the first time I could say that. Out of all the years I've been watching the WNBA, even when we had the Rockers and shit, that had to be the First game I watched where I really was like, damn. Did the Liberty refs win? Really controlled that game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The refs gave Liberty that shit. Because um, I don't even think that was a, I don't like when, when, uh, when Stewart went up there for the little, when Stewart went up there for the little float game, she didn't get fouled. That wasn't no three point play. That was a little two point go back. She didn't get touched. She didn't get touched, bro. That's crazy, though. But shout out to New York, politics? Though. You think it was politics with that? The New York Liberty winning the NBA? I mean, yeah, I mean, they do. I feel like they was due. Yeah, they was really right. due for what? They the Liberty won. was due for one in this in this era. And, and, they, and they, 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 they haven't won one, even with Low, even with Rebecca Lobo and all of them. They right. haven't won one. But the thing is, but the thing is, with that is the way that they lost last year. Last year, last year, the the the, the Aces just said, you know what? <clears throat> Give me this shit. You feel me? Mm. The Aces like we took that shit last year, and it had them looking crazy. Because honestly, like, like I said on the show before, I'm gonna say it again. You know, what I'm saying Sabrina and that school, she like the she's female Steph Curry. Mm. That that for sure. that female her range is unlimited. Her range is un- unlimited for real. She got unlimited range. Niggas talking, and like I said before, like on the on the comparison side, like Kayla Clark is more like Trey Young. We gotta see. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't say that Kayla Clark is, is doing anything like Steph Curry because I, I've been watching Sabrina and that school for the past three years, and she, her range is unlimited. Didn't she beat Steph in that three-point cop? No, no, Steph did win on some, on some, let me show you on Steph Curry at the end, though. But I'm just saying, like, Sabrina and that school, and then Brittany Stewart, she a top player, too. Like, mm-hmm. like, the, like, the, like, I'm not trying to say that the, that the Liberty don't deserve to win it. I'm just saying, honestly, let them win it. Don't don't control this shit. Like at the end of the day, it's cool 
that the WNBA try to start getting more money, you try to get more money to these ladies. But don't turn the WNBA into the NBA. Let that be the WNBA and let the NBA be the NBA. It's more politics than this NBA shit. You feel me? Like a lot of people be talking about refs doing this, that, and the third when it comes to NBA games. They've been on that shit for like 30 years. Don't bring that shit to the WNBA. I, I don't think that's a good look for them. Honestly, they on the, they on the uptick. I feel like let them keep coming up. Let let players start making millions of dollars before you start talking, before you start having refs control who win and who lose. Like, come on, man. Let's get this shit together, man. Yeah, and control it. That, 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 that was the lowest scoring game in all of the playoff games. All of them. Hmm. hmm. That's, that, that's ironic. That's ironic. That's a full cool type shit. Intentionally. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it's it's subjective still. It's still subjective though. You feel what I'm saying? But shout out to the Liberty though. They deserve that shit. Y'all turn up, dude. Y'all turn up. You feel me? Y'all know. Oh, oh, ten buck two was good, my nigga. Got ten buck two in the build on Tuesday night quarterback and shit. But yeah, yeah though, man. So at the end of the day, I know y'all. I know y'all niggas was talking all this. Um. <laughs> hey, low key, this might be this might be one of the most low key. This might be one of the most litest Tuesday night quarterbacks so far, bro. This might be the one of the litest ones. Look, oh shit. But don't have this nigga pull it out no beer or Jenny, but you tweet. <laughs> that nigga be like, hey, that nigga be like, that nigga be like, hey, little boy, pass me that, pass me that little beer or real quick. I got it. You fed? I'm trying to get these views up. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! But yeah, though, on the on the flip side, though, now. I know we don't, you know what I'm saying? I guess this is about to be the last little shit we talk about before we before we wrap and shit, you know what I'm saying? We went a little a little bit over the hour mark today. It's been a good show. Shout out to everybody who's been tapping in. So, you know what I'm saying? The, in the post Tuesday night quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Mike, Black Mike, DJ, you know what I'm saying? I really do appreciate them niggas for just helping us starting to turn this little Tuesday night quarterback up a little bit. We did this shit last year. It was cool, but I feel like with y'all additions to this shit and just turning it up to a point that I'm really fucking with. And I appreciate y'all niggas for real for just, for just, you know what I'm saying, still fucking with us and still rocking with us and still helping us build this shit that we got going on We're in the post though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know we talk a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Talk a lot of heated shit, whatever, but at the end of the day, I really appreciate y'all, man. I really appreciate you, Black Mike on G's, though, and everything I love. For real, for real. On that but, note, um, you know what I'm saying? On, on that oh, note, you know what I'm saying? Mike been fucking with us for like, well, actually, BJ and Black Mike been fucking with us for so long. That, that shit, they was like, it was only two people, shit, and Oats, three people in the in the view, shit. That was eight years ago, shit. Yeah, yeah they been fucking with us that long. We appreciate the love. Putting other motherfuckers on. He been fucking with us for a while. You know, so when he started getting on the IG shit, you know he was he 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 a, he a hood nigga. He ain't had time for it. <laughs> oh no, fuck that. No, hey hey, listen here, listen here, dog. Yo. Like Jenny, I ain't gonna block nobody no more. I'm off that shit. But I'm just gonna be honest that that year. 2015, 2016, that year especially, after they lost the finals to go to the state the year before. Oh, nigga, I was on it. I, I needed I needed a win. It, it was that close. I needed that shit. And this nigga keep talking about Brian this, Brian ain't that, Kyrie ain't this, JR ain't that. I'm like, man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't know that shit. And, and, no, that and, shit was serious, nigga. And, that shit was serious. And you see, and you see, that's what I'm saying. Like the blocking of that, the blocking of my nigga DJ, like since we gonna just end it all like this, it got it got niggas a championship. So respect. 
You feel me? Got niggas a ring, nigga. I had a, I had a two one six champ. I had a two one six championship. Had on RP Big T. My OG took me down there. We was down there at that motherfucking parade, nigga. What you mean, nigga? That shit work, nigga. <laughs> It worked. Uh, the answer the injury, I had to get all I had to get all the negativity away from me so we can so we can kinda you feel me get to that positivity though. You, you know, know? And, and the injury that motherfucker we lost, his son was sitting over in this bitch watching the game with us. With this oh, he was he had a jersey and a hat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah this that, that nigga was a see this what y'all don't know. This what y'all don't know. Watch it. This what y'all don't know. That nigga was go to state all day. He was a go to state fanatic at that time. So I yeah. had to block him. This is just it just it's just a city. I had to do it. Y'all y'all should just respect the fact that I hold down the city like that. I had to get I had to get the warrior fans away from me, nigga. Like damn, like like what y'all on? <laughs> like I know it's a long time ago. What y'all on? Like like what you mean? <laughs> this nigga crazy, man. Jenny hilarious, man. That's my nigga. She hilarious. But <laughs> you already know what the fuck going on, nigga. So um, we back at y'all. Sun- we back at y'all Saturday. Um, ten buck two, man. Hey, man, real rap. If, if ten buck two sent this motherfucker, hey, man, check your DMs, my nigga. Please appreciate you. Check your DMs, bro. On the guys, check your DMs, and um, so we can kind of you know set up this interview. <laughs> yeah, I swear I don't know where you be. At. I be I be trying to I be like wait like where you at? I be trying to I be trying to pull up on you. Shit, meet me at that. Meet me. Oh, uh, but the vending machine's fucked up. That's why I ain't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> the vending machines at the job been fucked up for a butt to have. That's why I ain't seen you, Vinny. You ain't went up there, got no pop or nothing, man. Niggas losing money. Them niggas owe me five dollars. I still ain't got my bread back, man. I'm upset. I'm upset. Uh, <laughs> them niggas still owe me a five dollar. I'm I wait. I've been waiting for that damn vending machine nigga to pull up in that motherfucking gig for the past month. Like I need my five, dog. Like you on bullshit, bro. Put the whole five dollar in. Took the whole five dollar. Ain't come no change. Ain't come no pop. Nothing. I need my cash, brother. Fuck is wrong with you? Break a nigga off, bro. It's just, it's, just, it's just slow. You feel me? Like, what? I'm talking about Dave, the motherfucking, the nigga who normally be filling up the vending machines. He ain't been in there in a month because the shits don't work. So ain't nobody buying shit. So they ain't been up there. <laughs> man, fuck, man. We, just because we in the projects don't mean y'all niggas can't show love. Like, God damn. I know we in the Jets. Dude. I know I'm working the Jets, but God damn. Like, what the fuck, niggas? So, he ain't niggas on that. He ain't coming down there. Hey, man, I ain't gonna fake, nigga. I kind of see this my dumb ass fault because, like, a week prior to when I put my little buddy in there, I knew something was fishy. I went to that bitch, like, let me grab a little, you feel me? Let me grab a little motherfucker, um, ginger ale, a little Canada dry in that hoe. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, all right, boom. I go in that, that bitch. I, type, I tap the card on that bitch. That bitch say, all right, approved. I'm like, all right, boom. Let me tap the little numbers in. Tap the numbers in. That bitch ain't even moved. That shit said cancel. I say, what? I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, man, what the fuck? It took the money out. I say, oh, y'all niggas tweaking. So I'm, I'm over here fucking with the machine. Like, where the fuck going on? So then, like, probably, like, maybe a minute later, that shit dipped out my car. Like, it was like a, you know how they try to hold shit? Yeah. So they held it. Then they let it go. I say, all right, fuck it. I just let that shit go. I let that shit go on my mind. I say, maybe it's fucked up. Maybe they'll fix that hoe. Two days later, I come through. I had the $5 on me. Like, fuck it. I'm going to get a little Pepsi. Put the $5 in. That shit says, hit the numbers. That that shit said, nothing. (laughs) I'm hitting the little button. The thing is going to dismiss the little quarter. Because that shit only dismiss quarters. They ain't going to bring back the five. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm I'm going to line. I'm doing laundry. It's laundry day today. Fuck it. Give me the. The quarters, that shit ain't even come with the quarters. I'm like, man, I filled out that motherfucking shit so fast, the little refund shit up so fast, nigga. I'm like, I need that shit. Y'all niggas tweaking. <laughs> like, y'all niggas tweaking right now. Like, I ain't gonna fake, nigga. And this how niggas really tweaking, because you know, this was so crazy about this shit. The motherfucking shit, the vending machine, dang, it's marked up. Like, it's marked up like a motherfucker. Like, them bitches like $3 for a 
20 ounce three dollars like when we had old oh girl remember when we had uh miss incognito she about to have her baby and shit remember we had miss incognito on the oh, show and she's like i'm thirsty yeah. da, da, da. And, yeah. I, and i bought her a drink on that motherfucking vending machine that shit was there at 350 for a little 20 ounce motherfucker what she get a motherfucking a tahitian treat or some goofy shit like what yeah. but i done paid five dollars that's a two liter nigga what the fuck is going on like oh man nigga, this is crazy in this hole man like god damn let a nigga live dog like what the fuck niggas gotta live dog i don't understand <laughs> man i'm telling you man sometimes this shit is just it's, it's like it's just like it's like a you know say so you know how like like a comic and shit only thing about my shit is I, I freestyle out of shit, just like I was with rapping. I freestyle out of shit. So sometimes it'd be hard to kind of <laughs> bring it back. You feel me? Yeah. Like maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga. Hey, this shit is ridiculous. But shit, anything else you got to say, Pimp, before we slide about this bitch, nigga? Shit, just thanking everybody. Make sure you tune in. It's gonna be some shit going on Tuesday night quarterback and in the post. So pay attention. It's gonna be a lot of shit happening. Pay attention. Yeah, in the post every in the post every Saturday. Shout out to everybody who tapped in. Jenny, hopefully I see you tomorrow. We're gonna laugh about this one. Oh geez. But shout out to Black Mike DJ, you know what I'm saying? Our our co our co our correspondence when it comes to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Oats, watching too. Not even a podcast coming back soon. My nigga Trap popped in. Um, Tim Buck Two popped in. My nigga Meets the Shredder. They got motherfucking um, situation going on. I think this sun. I think either Saturday or Sunday. They got battlegrounds going on. I don't know. We may pull up, may not. I don't know. I gotta figure that shit out. That nigga been telling us to pull up, so we may try to pull up to one of the battlegrounds. See what's to that shit. But um, other than that. You know, say shout out to everybody, man. Respect to y'all niggas. Um, and if you and if you miss this shit, understand. Probably in like the next about thirty minutes, that shit gonna be in your inbox. I'm I'm a, I'm a spam it. It's me. I'm just letting y'all know it's me. So when you see niggas, when you see a video, when your inbox and your, and your DM, and niggas say you know, say, say like, share, comment, woo woo. That's me. That's me all the time, every time. I'm sending it to everybody I can. Nigga. Fuck that. All right, that's what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Self promotion is the best promotion. You feel me? Straight up, nigga. But all right. To next to Saturday, nigga, Pip, I get with you. We don't got no outro, nigga, so you know what it is. Just cut this shit off. Mm-hmm.